Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, I am happy to put together a couple of soups tonight uh, just to have a little something warm to fill our bellies after worship this evening. Um, I'm making first lentil soup and uh, this is kind of fun because I do use halves of meat portions so um, with this I'm going to be using um, a half a pound of, of chopped bacon. So let's go ahead and get it started here. Right. Now when it's all said and done, bacon lentil soup will actually take upwards of two hours uh, to be ready. Um, it is a very, lentils are so much fun because you don't have to pre-soak them. You can cook, cook them and eat them really within an hour, you know, as simply as with some um, uh, chicken broth replacing the water even just be sure you rinse these really well and pick out any little bits that look like rocks or or whatnot and uh, you should be good to go all right so I'm going to sear the meat so I'm going to go up a little bit higher or pardon me not sear it um, I want to cook at a high heat with the bacon I'm not going to take it too crispy by any means I'm just going to get it to a point where it's nice and softened then I'll start layering, um, I'll remove it and then start layering everything in additionally. And uh, I will be keeping um, the bacon grease in the pan because that really does add such a, a lovely flavor. All right, we're getting there. Render its fat a little bit here. Once again, it is always lovely to have all of the ingredients prepared and on the ready. Uh, I've mixed together all the seasonings and that's actually one bay leaf. At least that's as big as bay leaves to be. <laughs> and just some simple um, onion and carrot. And there's certainly a lot of different ways to prepare bacon lentil soup or even without bacon if you want a purely vegetarian type meal. Uh, just make sure that you um, add sufficient oil and saute the vegetables well and you'll get a lovely flavor uh, despite that difference from missing bacon. It is a big evening for cooking tonight. Not only are the soups going to go on, uh, but we are also, I'm also going to make um, a zucchini cobbler to enjoy for dessert. And let's see. We will also do the spinach artichoke dip tonight. It's kind of fun. I uh, purchased a lovely sourdough bread, bread bowl and um, this uh, creamy, velvety um, uh, treat is, well, it has uh, cream cheese in it, uh, spinach, uh, diced artichoke hearts. Um, it has a lovely, like, light, delicate onion flavor. And I just slice up some baguettes, uh, thin slice some baguettes and uh, briefly Toast them under the broiler and you've got a nice little snack. You hollow out the bread bowl. And that's kind of a great little nibbler just through the holiday, the, the Christmas Eve and Christmas in general too. Especially if you have, have some visitors. Okay, making good progress there. Lovely 
that that's rendering. I did put some additional olive oil in the pan just because it just adds a little bit more, oh, I say maybe hardiness. It kind of counteracts, it seems like the kind of a potential dryness of a lentil soup. At least that's what I find. I am going a more flavor, personal flavor preferences than a training, really. Awesome one pot meal. Really? Really low on dishes. I'm kind of curious why I seem to be leaning more towards French flavors um, for Christmas Eve this year, but I guess it makes a little bit of sense. Um, last year I made a, a lovely steak frite. And uh, I think we just kind of play with it every year, depending on um, what our little activity of the evening looks like. Uh, but this with the artichoke uh, dip certainly has a French feel. <laughs> oh, it smells wonderful. certainly drain off that bacon if you don't want that flavor. It's just about the point where the bacon's starting to stick to the bottom. It's looking not crispy, certainly, but definitely cooked. If you do um, overdo the bacon, I kind of almost recommend not putting it in the soup, even though it will certainly tenderize um, with the water and everything that's added. Um, for the actual soup. So I like to add the veg well into the grease directly just to give it a little bit of a flavor as well. I usually season in layers but with this one I don't think that's going to altogether be necessary. A little stir stir. Mmm. Smells delightful. Mmm. Just saute it for a few minutes. Not quite to the point where it's translucent, but or softened rather, but. smell kind of like when you can smell the sweetness of the onions coming out forget your little bay leaf Let's see the seasonings I go ahead and start there and I get my lentils in so seems to be easier to pour in the 